Okay, so here's an example direction field for this given differential equation. So if you look at this direction field, it's filled up with these tangent lines, right? Now you can see that already there's infinitely many solutions. But how do you find a one solution, one unique solution? Well, remember in the last section, in the last chapter, we discussed if we are given an initial condition or if you want the specific solution that goes through, let's say, the specific point here, then you can really get that unique solution. But how do you visualize it from a slope field? Well, it's very easy. You mark the point and you follow the arrows going through this point and follow the flow of the arrows of the direction fields that goes through this point. So if you look at this direction field through this point, you can see this arrow is moving like here. You follow arrow after arrow. Okay. You should do that slowly. And you can see the solution is look like this. And from behind, it's look like arrow behind arrow. You should do that very carefully. So it seems to be like the solution that goes through that black point is look like this. Okay, so you can find these unique solutions and they can say depending on the point you are located, you can get different types of shaped solutions. So for example, here, this is a one solution. You can see depending on the point. So this was a point here. This was a point here. So two solutions behave differently. Okay. And that can happen. So depending on the initial condition, the point, you can get different, different solution. It should affect the solution. Let's see one more couple more examples. So here, for example, here's the point and the solution that goes through this point is given in this orange color curve okay for that differential equation all right so how do you do it so this is something that you might have to do in the web assign so for example draw the solution curves that goes through the point zero negative one so when x is equal to zero that means y is negative one so you should correctly find the point so when x is equal to zero y is negative one will be point like here so the point here, if you look at the arrows from here and here, behind and uh, behind and forward, then we can follow the arrows. You know, I sort of did that fast, but you can do it by yourself slowly. And that is the solution get that goes through the point zero, negative one. So if you look at another point, the solution that goes through zero, zero. So we locate the point zero, zero. Let's locate it from a different color. Well, if you if you look at the arrows from behind, behind and forward you can see the solution look like have this shape okay so i'm not the best artist in the world but yeah so that is how the solution look like that goes through point zero zero okay so you just follow the flow of the arrows through that point from behind and forward so you can already see another two differently behaved solution for the same differential equation but for different going through different point different conditions okay all right so that is how you find a solution curve for a differential equation thank you